What is going on guys from one of the last few videos here in Lebanon. Actually, I'm not even in Lebanon right now. I'm in my next country, which you'll find out very soon. Recently, after I finished the Lebanon series and left and they're all edited and most of them are posted, I started to get quite a few comments about showing the nightlife in Lebanon because you're right. I actually didn't really show the nightlife that much. And the reason being is because usually when I went out at night, I was meeting friends and I was trying to be a little bit more in the moment kind of enjoy myself, have a couple drinks. And so I didn't actually film the nightlife, but the good news is, is I did take a lot of videos that I shared on like um, uh, TikTok, I shared on Instagram. And so if you're not following me there, you probably never got a chance to see what the nightlife was like. And so let me first off say that they are all shot on my cell phone, but it's pretty high quality. So as I go through and share some of the nightlife things, I'll probably overlay some of the clips from my phone. But honestly, that's, a great way to kind of see what it's like in the moment, what it's like, you know, when I'm out enjoying myself. And so you guys can get an idea of what nightlife is like in 2021 all over Lebanon, not just in Beirut, but um, I went to a bunch of different cities. So I have a list of all the places I went through my phone and found every single place that I went to during the two months that I spent in Lebanon. And so I'm gonna kind of talk about each one as well as at the end, I'm gonna talk about a couple that I wanted to go to, but I unfortunately did not have time to for whatever reason, but I'll definitely try and make it to them when I get back. So real quick, obviously I'm talking about the nightlife in 2021, which means it's much different than the nightlife like pre-explosion, pre-crisis days. I have been told, because I had never been to Lebanon before 2021, that the nightlife there was like top three in the world. So unfortunately, obviously with everything that's happened, it's not in that state. But on a more positive note, there are a lot of amazing places you can go out in around the country. And in general, a lot of the big clubs over in uh, Beirut that were affected from the explosion, some of the owners moved their new locations over to places like Patron or Biblos and did a little bit more of a sunset bar experience, which was really cool. I personally love sunsets. And so if you can go have some drinks, it's awesome but not all of them really like go into the night or are like true clubs like you know some of the others are. So basically like the first week I was in Lebanon, I didn't really go out uh, until I got to June. And in June, I went to a place called uh, Palms Beach House and that place was, well, it was really special because that's where like Luke and Fuad and I, like we became really close friends as you guys have seen in the other vlogs. And we, you know, went there, had some shishas, we met our buddy Joe, who used to be a DJ there, and also another couple DJs that were also playing there. So we had a really nice experience. The staff took care of us. And it's a great place to go with like a group of friends. That's usually what most people did. I would say that like, you know, some people I see going on dates, having dinner, maybe staying into later in the night, but Palms is like a pretty big party place. So it's also a fun spot to go, you know, with a big group of friends, stay late into the night. They play electronic music, they play uh, Arabic music, and then a mix of like, you know, some pop top 40, it depends on the DJ. And some nights they even light off fireworks. So that was a pretty cool experience. And uh, yeah, I would recommend going to Palms. That's probably like the best place in June. So this place called Boha was amazing. It was probably my favorite sunset bar or like top two favorite sunset bars. And that's because basically like they have this super modern building that leads right out into the sunset. And when you like walk out the alleyway, you have the bar right in front of you and you can just see like this wide open area with seating both like at tables, then in the grass, and then some areas to just like sit on the grass with mats. It was like such a cool atmosphere. And the DJ was like located way up near the pillars. It was just like a, a really great setup overall. So I would absolutely recommend going there. It was so much fun when we went. The drinks were good, the music was good all night, and I uh, couldn't speak more highly of it. Then up in Biblos, I went to a place called Kina Sunset Bar. You'll notice like as I go through a lot of these that it was mostly sunset bars that we went to because there just simply are not as many like nightclubs like there was, I guess, before, you know, the explosion. And in some of these other cities, they just don't really have nightclubs. Kina Sunset Bar had a super cool vibe. I actually made a, another YouTube video on that where I like walk around and uh, share that experience with you guys. So you can definitely check out that video. It's called $3 Drinks at uh, the Best Sunset Bar in Biblos. And so uh, there they offered like really nice drinks, like cool cocktails and a beautiful sunset right on the coastline there. And um, it was like almost like a Bali like atmosphere there that's in Lebanon. So it was, it was a cool twist, really nice owners. They were like very friendly when we first arrived. Then Biblos downtown bar. So like in like the old town area in Biblos, that's where you're going to find the streets just that are during the day, old souks 
they turn into crazy nightlife at night like electronic music djs all throughout the like alleyways connecting all the shops like i loved it i thought it was such a cool place i didn't even really ever actually go out there i just walked around at night maybe once or twice to get an idea but those nights we just didn't end up going out like to actually go and enjoy the night. It was just more for me to like get some uh, videos. So I know what it's like and I'm definitely gonna come back to Bibelos. Then moving up a little closer to Patron, I went to a place called Blue Bay and here the staff was amazing. This was one of like the best experiences in terms of like they welcomed us, they showed us all around. Blue Bay, uh, my friends and I, cause we were making some content for them and they were just, you know, very welcoming and showed us an awesome time. And they have a lot of amenities you can go like uh, during the day and at night. And they play like techno music some nights, R&B some nights, uh, just a whole bunch of different stuff. We only had the chance to make it there once, but when I go back next, I'm definitely gonna go to Blue Bay again because it was a great time. So the next one is Bolero, which is actually another sunset bar here in Patron. I never actually made it there during sunset. I made it there one evening when we met up some friends, some other expats that were visiting uh, Lebanon that week. And so it was super cool to go hang out with friends. It's a great place uh, to go with friends specifically because they have like huge tables and you know you can get community platters of food and it's yeah it's a nice atmosphere once again it's not clubby though it's more like a vibey sunset and then go into the evening with like some chill tunes uh you know hanging out out in the grass or you know on their tables that are leaning up right against the water so it's it's a good spot i would recommend it for sure then further up north we were in a place called hasron and hasron is in, right near Bashare. We kind of stumbled upon there and we went to a place called Raven at like, I don't know, 2 a.m. It's one of these like clubs, an actual nightclub that's open till maybe 6 a.m. We stayed there and that was probably the hardest I partied in Lebanon. And uh, yeah, it was a nice time. And you know, we got to go up on the stage. The guy was playing piano, hopping on the mic and mostly Arab music there too. Not as much like electronic or pop music. So it was a cool vibe for sure, we'd go back. Then also in that area of a place called Aden. So Aden is really good for nightlife. You can go to a place called Al Midan and basically in that maybe one square kilometer, probably less than a square kilometer area, you are going to have like so many nightclubs, restaurants to go out at and it's a great atmosphere. The one thing I noticed about Aden is it seemed like most of the clubs in that area were like for people that are pretty young, like it seemed like one of the clubs we were gonna go to because the music sounded great, it was like 15 to 17. And I'm obviously a bit older than that, so it wasn't like my vibe to uh, go there. But like, you know, for the younger generation, or like, you know, I sound old, but I'm 28 years old. So for people that are a bit younger than me, um, you know, it's a great place to go out. For, for like me and my friends, we pretty much just stayed like at the restaurants, kind of walked around, got a feel for it. But my favorite place I went to in Aiden was over at the Minus Sunset Bar. And yeah, once again, another sunset bar. And the reason why I loved it there is because you get these views over Aiden, the clouds filled in the gaps in the valleys and you could see the city, the lights and everything. It was, it was just a magical experience. So I, I really enjoyed that and would recommend it. The owner there was awesome too. He welcomed us, he made us some kake, which is like a, a traditional Lebanese food. And he brought us, you know, delicious drinks like gin and basil, if you've never heard of it, that's a go-to. And yeah, I really liked it. I wanna go back there another time. Then over in Faraya, you have a place called Odin. So Odin is probably one of the most well-known bars that people go to in the summer. It's a sunset bar that turns into like a full-on outdoor club. And then later in the night, it turns into like an indoor club when everyone goes inside. So that place was super cool. Uh, I went there one of the nights and it got pretty crowded that night. And so, you know, the security was a little rude to people. But at the same time, I also understand because there was like so many people trying to get in. Aside from that, that's just my experience. It's a great place and they have all different types of DJs and things going on. So yeah, I would. I went to Odin actually three times because a bunch of my friends just love to go up there. So we ended up just uh, continuously going back. Then over in like the Jaladib area, there's a place called Dees Rooftop. I ended up here because my good friend Joe used to DJ there and it was a great spot to enjoy a mix of like Arabic and um, electronic music late into the night and it's yeah as it sounds Dees Rooftop it's on maybe the 23rd floor maybe the 40th floor I honestly don't remember but you have some cool views over the city and they have like awesome lights right up there that are going off the whole time so it's it's a nice vibe and I want to say it goes to like 2 or 3 a.m if I remember correctly then one of the most well-known and one of the classics that you have to go to is up in Zaror you can go to a place called Frozen Cherry. And this place you wanna come before sunset, 
even like in the afternoon around like 4 or 5 p.m. if sun's setting at like 7, have some drinks there. You get some beautiful views of the mountains and especially because it's so high up, it's kind of in the clouds. And you can see like the clouds basically surround the mountains and like peaks like stick out of the clouds. And then as the sun sets, you basically are like on the mountain, the clouds are below it, and then like the sun's just over the top. When we were there, it was like super cloudy, so we only got a couple of good views. But like from the photos I saw, from what my friends were telling me, it's amazing to come at that time. And then I just brought about Frozen Chariot, similar to Odin, where it turns into like a bit of a nightclub, outdoor nightclub, uh, later in the night once, once the sun fully sets. So yeah, super cool atmosphere. And they even have like these, I guess like lounge areas that are the best for the sunset area. So make sure you arrive early enough, you make reservations so you can get a good spot there. And then coming back into the Beirut area, so once again, as I mentioned earlier in this video, a lot of the nightlife was destroyed from the explosion, sadly. And so, you know, what I experienced the most was going down to the Marm Chayil area. And there it's it's still pretty lively. And in Marm Chayil, you can literally go out any night of the week. There's always something going on. And just walking along the main strip there, you're going to find places like Fabric, which is probably my favorite place. Uh in Marm Chayil because it's like on the third floor. It's got a really nice modern atmosphere to it. It's got a foosball table, it's got a pool table, really good gin and basils over there. Once again, my favorite Lebanese drink. And uh, overall, yeah, just a, a, a good atmosphere. And it was great to meet people. A lot, of, a lot of people that, you know, are, especially when you're playing pool. That's how I met a lot of people. So yeah, also in like Marm Chayil, you'll find just like a lot of like small little pubs in the area. You can go down, sit, have a beer, have a mixed drink. And uh, yeah, they're always playing like super loud music in the area. So yeah, any night of the week, you're gonna be like, geez, this place is a party. But in reality, bring that on a grander scale, pretty much anywhere in Lebanon, any night of the week, even in the midst of the economic crisis, you are going to be able to find so much going on at night. Like the nightlife there is awesome. I think that's why like, I just went out so often the first month I was there because there was just always something to do. Always people that wanted to go out and uh, have a good time. So I really enjoyed that. A couple places I probably would go, right? I would most likely go to most of these would be um, Caprice. So Caprice I've heard is an awesome bar slash club and uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Iris Beirut, um, I've heard is like very nice at sunset and it only recently opened, I think in the last couple months. Uh, there's a place called Raw Beirut, which seems like a pretty big party scene, like more like club type atmosphere. That looked awesome. And then Spine, which was one of the places that originally inspired me to come to Lebanon. I mean, not the main reason, but it was like when I was deciding on which country to go to next, I saw this TikTok and I was like, oh, this is a sign. And they have super, super cool lights that are like some I've never seen, like very, very exotic. And they light up the top of this building. It's actually very close to um, the Dees rooftop. It's maybe like uh, two kilometers away. And you can see it's spine from so far away just because the lights are so exotic on the roof. So those are those are the places that I didn't go that, you know, might be of interest to you guys, but I hope that helps. And so that's pretty much it. This was obviously like a different type of video, but you know, you guys were requesting what the nightlife's like. So I'm sure this at least helps you some overlays of the clips of, you know, what it's like in each one of these places. And I think it'll help you if you're trying to figure out where you should go out here in the beautiful country of Lebanon. So, all right guys, if you've enjoyed this video, it helps so much if you can smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos, both here in Lebanon and all around the world, then make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be right below this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.